Hey guys, this is Amy and Kim from We Learned to Share. Welcome to my video about nucleic acid. This would be the last macromolecule that we'll learn about. Do you guys all remember that protein, lipid, and carbohydrate has different various functions? For example, to talk about protein, it functions as enzyme, signal protein, structural protein, and so on. However, unlike them, nucleic acid only deals with genetic information. I'm sure that you have heard of DNA and RNA before. They are both nucleic acid, which is polymer. Nucleic acid is made up of carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Just like other macromolecules, nucleic acid has its monomer and it is nucleotide. If you take a closer look at its structure, you'll recognize that there are three parts in nucleotide. They are nitrogenous base, phosphate group, and sugar. And there are four types of nitrogenous base and two types of sugar. There are two groups in nitrogenous bases. First group is pyrimidines, which is one ring, as you can see. However, the other group, purines, have two rings. There are cytosine and thymine in pyrimidines. We're going to take a look at Eurasia later, so just ignore that for now. And in purines, there are guanine and adenine. Again, C and T in pyrimidines, A and G in purines. You should remember which one belongs to pyrimidines and purines, but you never have to remember the structure of them. And you also have to remember that pyrimidines have single ring and purines have double ring. Anyway, in DNA, nucleotides link to other nucleotides by nitrogenous bases, and there are pair that always link together. Cytosine always links with guanine, thymine with adenine. So one in pyrimidines links to one in purines. This is called base pairing. Now I'll talk about the one I left behind. In RNA, instead of thymine, uracil links to adenine, and same with the DNA, cytosine links to guanine. So by thymine and uracil, we can tell whether it is DNA or RNA. Also, sugar in DNA is different to sugar in RNA. In DNA, it is deoxyribose, and in RNA, it is ribose. As you can see in the photo, ribose has oxygen in the bottom right one, and deoxyribose doesn't have the oxygen. Therefore, DNA's full name is deoxyribose nucleic acid. So we took a look at DNA and RNA structure. To summarize the difference between DNA and RNA, DNA is double helix and is anti-parallel. It is 5 to 3 direction. I'll talk about this more in Unit 6. And as I said earlier, A links to T and C links to G. A and T is linked by double hydrogen bond and C and G is linked by triple hydrogen bond. And RNA is single-stranded, unstable, and has extra OH at sugar C2. T is replaced by U in RNA. Also, it is not written here, but DNA only stays in nucleus, but RNA can exist in nucleus, cytoplasm, and rough ER. DNA can be replicated and can be transcripted to RNA. The transcription takes place in nucleus and translation that changes RNA to protein takes place outside the nucleus. And we're going to talk um, more specifically about this more in next unit. The next concept I'll talk about is pH. In any aqueous solution at 25 Celsius, the product of H plus and OH minus is constant. And the pH of a solution can be calculated by the for formula 
minus low concentration of hydrogen ion. And for the neutral aqueous solution, pH is always 7. So in this pH scale, neutral 7 is in the middle. 1 to 7 is acidic, and there are sour ones, and the basic solution 10 to 14 is usually bitter. As the pH decreases, it is stronger acid, and as it increases, it is stronger base. So then let's assume that you drink a cup of lemon juice. Will your body change to acid? That cannot happen because as we learned before, pH affects the 3D structure of protein and makes it not able to function. Therefore, in our body, there are solutions that help us sustain pH close to 7. Mm. So as the internal pH of most living cells must remain close to pH 7, but first minimize changes in concentration of H plus and OH minus. So today we learned about um, nucleic acid and pH. This was our last lesson in unit 1 and I'll see you in my first video in unit 2. Thank you for watching the video. And please subscribe and like this video if this helped you.